it's time now for the Peter Channel News. More important. Sunday morning, September 14, 2014. <laughs> Welcome to Sunday morning here, September 14, 2014. Here now your news headlines here. Top story. 820 year is British Prime Minister David Cameron prepared to chair a meeting with his security cabinet on Sunday morning after Islamic State militants released a video showing the beheading of British aid worker David Ames. North Korea has said this to take American refugee bill to six years of hard labor on a conviction of hostile acts against Pyongyang. Gordon Brand took his brand of old time labor and village into the Royal Concert Art in Glasgow on Friday evening to attempt to induce hundreds of pro union activists. In Monrovia, Library's President Ella Johnson really first sacked 10 senior officials because they failed to heed a warning to return from overseas. Travel to help the government fight against an Ebola epidemic that has killed at least 1,100 people. Floyd Mayweather Jr. punches Marcos Bayonetta during the WBA welterweight the WBC superweight title fight last night in Las Vegas as Mayweather defeated Marcos Bayonetta. As iPhone 6 pre-order media continues to grow the number of people are looking for ways to get rid of their old iPhone, preferably for somebody to use to buy the new version here. 200 elite special force soldiers could be on the ground in Iraq within days after the Arab government agreed to U.S. request to provide planes and 600 personnel to the region as part of the multinational strike force against Islamic terrorists. In Mexico City, Odal has strafed into a Category 4 hurricane that swirled over the past seven Toward an expected close pressure with a southern portion of Mexico's Baja California region and Peninsula. And I'm going to more than that on the weather segment in a couple of minutes here. In Manila, Philippines, survivors form a ferry that sank and then encountered strewn problems in the central Philippines as they floated and were tossed about the churned sea in pitch black conductors for about six hours here while praying and holding on to. Iraq's new Prime Minister, Haider al Abadabi, has renounced his British citizenship since assuming office last week, three government officials close to the Premier said Sunday. Ukraine is effectively discussed on the sidelines of the Paris meeting on Iraq on Monday. A senior U.S. State Department official said Secretary John Kerry will have full sides with several foreign ministers to review developments. Grass Valley, California, a wildfire in Northern California has destroyed two homes while a much larger place provides stubborn and amid high temperatures and dry brush in Southern California. There are no suspects in custody following Friday night's ambush and due to the death of a Dunmore State Trooper at Blooming Grove Police Barracks in Pike County, Pennsylvania, State Police said this morning. Here. China's industrial production rose 6.9% in August compared to the year earlier as China's economic Engines better than August had industrial production growth slowed to its lowest level since the 2008 global crisis of the economic type. HSBC has agreed to pay $550 million to American regulators to resolve claims that it made false representations when it sold mortgage bonds in the run up to the financial crisis. The quiet demise of Apple's iPod Classic prompted NET's Nick Stat to reflect on the time before streaming services when music was set free. A new malware emerged onto the Twitch that alerts the users of the attractive of offers and then steals the credits in the Steam account wallet. In Seoul, South Korea, Samsung Electronics Company has accused senior executives of domestic rival LG Electronics Incorporated of intentionally vandalizing its washing machine at retail stores in Germany and asked for an official investigation. After Apple's iPhone 6 Mark IV was launched, a The second day, a preliminary competition for the 2015 Miss Merrick pageant on Wednesday as Boardwalk Hall, Miss Vermont, Lucy Andrews, Miss Pennant Smith, and Martha Smith, and Miss Virgin Out. Ashley Mitchell gave me a post with a picture as Miss Merrick pageant will be tonight in Atlantic City. The independent, a protege of Maine Senator Edmund Muskie, has master wealth of experience in business and law. As stories with the sound process, the main has been inaugurated as 20th president of Colby College. P.S. Sidoris in hospital is said to have ankle surgery. The biggest known dinosaur predicted stuck the planet Earth looked like river, a monster dash it with a seven meter tall spine to its back. Both has believed that they have successfully demonstrated the sound of a single out of the banks with excited and been thought it's completely inaudible to the human ear.
Yeah, fellas, a big deal. Making bills every year, but it's good enough to take care of league players, former Kurt. <coughs> the health benefits of eating fish that while we're going to establish in relation to heart health and cholesterol, but now there's even a better ad. Need reason to add something to your diet. As more children fall victim to rare risk through illness with age one, state doctors urge first to be cautious. I have members to Department of Public Health is currently investigating two clusters of respiratory illness in children, one in Mobile and one in North Alabama. Here. Okay, let's take a look at it. New England Nets and Alerts. Here. A holy oak man was mugged at night point by two men on Sunday morning air. Here's from the city of Revere. On Sunday, the Department of Conservation and Recreation will through a number of street closures and parking restrictions to help facilitate the River Half Marathon. Park will be proven on River Beach Boulevard between Elliott Circle and Curry Circle at the beach side and on the east side of Ocean Avenue from 12 a.m. to 12 p.m. On Sunday, please seek out to the park of D.C. or will also make the following road closures. Ocean Avenue North Bad Place from 8.50 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. River Beach Boulevard between Elliott Circle and Curry Circle from 8.50 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Bainton Street, North Bad Only from 8.50 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. Elliott Circle and Curry Circle from 8.50 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Watermark Avenue from 8.50 a.m. to 9 a.m. And Wall Street from 8.50 a.m. to 9 a.m. Winfrey Avenue between Bennington and Thomas L. Away from 8.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Take a look at sports highlights here. Take a look at sports scene here. You see a back up quarterback Jerry New Heisel is lifted in by his teammates after guiding the Brutes to a 2017 win over the University of Texas on Saturday at AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. This is a vicious cycle where it happens to a start or a vicious sport like pro football not a man who disciplined with an open hand or fist or belt or stick by his own father is caught doing the exact same thing to his own child later on. And today, the New England Patriots will try to get a win this season as they square off against the Minnesota Vikings up in Minneapolis while the Boston Red Sox will wrap up a four-game weekend series against the Kansas City Royals here. Peter Channel News on May 27, time and a half out of Trevor Ford here on this Sunday morning here. And take a look at smooth sailing on the highways, byways of New England on this Sunday morning here. And let's take a look at what is going on in the weather here. Our current conditions here in North Massachusetts, 54 degrees on temperature with clear skies, humidity 83%, wind speed 6 miles per hour, 2.5, 49 degrees and a visibility of 10 miles. Let's take a look at our current conditions around the region here. 53 degrees at temperature right now in Boston. It's 52 out in Fitchburg, 51 in Bedford and Gloucester, 50 in Beverly, 48 in Haverhill, 49 in Worcester, 46 in Sturbridge, 50 in Webster and Milford, 53 in Norwood, 54 in Taunton, 53 in Bedford, 55 in Plymouth, 57 in Promise Sound, 59 in Chatham, 54 in Falmouth, 16 in Cape Cod Bay, 61 in Nantucket, 57 in Marfa's Vineyard, it's 55 out of Block On, 54 in Westleaf, 50 in Smithfield, 56 in New York City, 55 in Islip, and 57 in Montauk, 55 in Long Island, 54 in Bridgeport, 50 in New Haven, 51 in Meriden and Danbury, 48 in Waterbury and Hartford, 52 in Windsor Locks, 52 in Springfield, 44 out of Amherst, 45 in Greenfield, 48 in Gardner, 46 in North Adams, 47 in Pittsfield, 48 out of Albany, 46 in Bennington and Brattleboro, 48 in Keene and Jeffrey, New Hampshire, and Concord, New Hampshire, 45 in Manchester, New Hampshire, 50 in Nashua and Portland, New Hampshire, and 51 up in Portland, Maine. Here. Oh, wait, let's take a look at our map situation here. Station front from Mexico, stretching on the Gulf of Mexico, merging with a cold front, down from the Gulf of Mexico, then merging with a front, then the southeastern corner of this region here, around the Florida Panhandle, and the cold front down to the Carolinas and Georgia coast, and searching out to sea. And merging with a cold front of the parallels up the Atlantic coastline and headed towards the Gulf of St. Lawrence here. And a cold front enough to go to stretch it out its west stationary front from west central portions of Ontario and up into James Bay. And a cold front from southeast of Wyoming down for Nebraska, stretch it to Minnesota, and down for southwestern portions of Ontario. And cold front from New England coastline merging with a pink front down to Brunswick, down for Quebec here. And we got low pressure in Quebec and southern Georgia and northeastern. 
Safi through Tip of Mexico and Safi through Ports of the Colorado and North Central California and Western Ontario, while high pressure in South Central Saskatchewan, South Dakota, North Nevada, Western Colorado, Eastern Illinois, and Central Ontario. Here, for the buy from South East Colorado down for Oklahoma, for the buy from the Panhandle up the Northeastern Shores of Mexico, and another for the buy from Southern Nevada down for South East Calvary, and down for Gulf of California, Mexico, and a for the buy from Central and Northern California up in Oregon, and that off the Washington British Columbia coastline. Here. 45 degrees at temperature right now in Pittsburgh. It's 56 in Washington, D.C., 46 in Detroit, 42 in Chicago, 52 in Minneapolis, 51 in Omaha, Nebraska, 54 in Kansas City, 64 out in Dallas, 74 in Brownsville, Texas. It's 79 in Atlanta, 76 in Miami, 83 out of Phoenix, 62 in Albuquerque, 64 in Salt Lake City, 52 in Denver, 75 in Las Vegas, 71 in Los Angeles, 60 out in San Francisco, 58 out in Seattle, and 35 out in Great Falls, Montana. Here. Alrighty, let's take a look at the radar situation here around the country here. And Anna. Anna. The little Jermaine coming in from eastern New Brunswick, searching around Nova Scotia, around Prince Edward Island, some shores of Prince Edward Island here. And Spotty Rain Charles around Southwest of Virginia and Napa in Central North Carolina and Atlanta Rain Charles from Georgia, searching South Carolina and up to sea. And a lot of clouds coming from the Gulf of Mexico, searching in North Mexico, searching western Texas here. And this will be our Rainmaker for Tuesday. Line of rain shots from Northwest of Portion, Wisconsin, searching around the Northeast of Minnesota, down for Southern Portions of Ontario, Southwest of Portions of Ontario, and a spotty rain shot seven and central portions of Alberta here. And take a look at our satellite loop beer, and it shows a line of clouds coming in from eastern Quebec and coming to Atlantic Canada, then stretch to the Atlantic seaboard, and coming in the Carolina coastline here. Line of clouds coming in from Mexico down for Western Texas, down for Eastern New Mexico, down for Oklahoma, down for Northern Arkansas. Uh, Line of clouds coming from Western no or Nebraska and down for Northern South Dakota, and down for Eastern Montana, and down for Alberta, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, and coming to much of Canada. And a spot of clouds coming from Central Nevada here. Take a look at. What is going on in the tropics here? Okay, let's take a look at our forecast discussion here. Showers of dust over the parts of the southeast. Across the station, front extended from the Carolina coast to the eastern Gulf coast over the parts of the northern Gulf of Mexico, slowly dissipate by Monday evening in the moisture pool along the boundary, aiding the development of the showers and dust over the parts of the Southeast along the Gulf Coast. Fact Monday and in addition showers that does of along the region's rain will develop over the parts of the day. Lower Rail Grand Valley Fact Sunday's moisture from the western Gulf of Mexico moves on short, and the air precipitation will slowly wait on Monday to adjust near the southern Texas coast. Meanwhile, strong up level energy over the northern two states will move into the Great Lakes by Monday evening to the light rain over develop over our parts of the upper Great Lakes by Sunday evening to the area. Rain will <coughs> Movies were to the Lower Great Lakes or our valley by Monday evening. Initially, a new friend will develop over the parts of the central plains, central Rockies, and Sunday evening to move into the southern Rockies and plains, while extended to the parts of the middle of the Valley by Monday evening. The battery of focus shots and that over the parts of the central plains and the Monday borders, taking to the southern plains and parts of the southern Rockies by Monday evening. Here. And let's take a look at the latest on Edward. It's 24 point to the north, 49.7 to the west. Max the same winds, 70 miles per hour. Movement not for about 14 miles. That's from now until 2 a.m. on Monday, it's going to become a hurricane. It's going to be as far as the category two storm as it moves east of Bermuda and that to say with no threat to the mainland United States and Atlantic Canada. Here's some swells and rough season. That's it. Here, as the latest public advisory on Edward here is Edward nearly a hurricane over the central Atlantic here, and there are no close watches water effect at 5 a.m. Atlantic time at UTC. The center of tropical storm Edward was located to do a letter to 24.0 to the north, long 249.7 to the west, and Edward is moving toward the northwest near 40 miles by 22 kilometers an hour. Edward should continue toward the northwest at a slightly slower forward speed by Monday. Memphis is aimed with a near 70 miles by 110 kilometers an hour with higher gusts and substrated as forecast during the next 48 hours, and Edward is expected to become a hurricane later today. Here, tropical storm force winds extend out towards up to 140 miles, 220 kilometers from the center. The estimated minimum central pressure is 992 millibars at 29 for 30 inches here. And on.
A brand low pressure system is located over the central Gulf of Mexico. It's produced a disorganized showers and dinosaur activity is up level. Winds are not conducted for development at a time. And the low could degenerate the return with low pressure while it moves westward across the Gulf of Mexico during the next couple of days. Here, formation chance of four hours. Low near zero percent. Formation chance of five days. Low near zero percent. Here. In the latest on Odell, here, 135 mile power wind gusts, a category 4 storm, 19.3 in the north, 107.7 in the west, and movement north northwest about 15 miles per hour. Here. In the latest on Hurricane Odell, here, it's category 4 Odell, approaching the Southern Baja California Peninsula. Here. In summary of watches, the words effect there. Hurricane warning is effect for Baja California Sur from Puerto San Andres through to La Paz. Hurricane watch is effect for the west coast of Baja California Sur from the north of Puerto San Andres through to Punta Eugenia. The east coast of Baja California Sur from the north of La Paz to Luedo. A tropical warning effect for the coast of Baja Mexico from Brazil to Cabo Creates. The east coast of Baja California Sur from the north of La Paz to Village. The west coast of Baja California Sur from north of Puerto San Andres to, to Punta a tropical war which is effect for the east coast of the Baja Cavern Surf and the North Village to Santa Brasilia at a hurricane warning to meet that hurricane conditions are expected somewhere within the water area and preparation to protect light and probably should be rushed to completion. A hurricane watch means that hurricane conditions are possible within the water area and watch is typically issued 48 hours before the anticipated first occurrence of a tropical force wind. Conditions that make outside preparation difficult or dangerous. A tropical warning means that tropical conditions are expected somewhere within the water A tropical watch means that top soil conditions are possible within the watch area and generally within 48 hours. Interest elsewhere in the Baja Cavern Peninsula should continue to monitor the progress of our diet. For some information specific to our area, please monitor products issued by your local meteorological national meteorological service. Here, at 5 a.m. Pacific Time, 12 in UTC, the eye of Hurricane Odal was located near latitude 19.3 to north, longitude 107.7 in the west. The is moving toward the north northwest near 15 miles by 24 kilometers down in a general motion toward. The northwest with an additional increase in the forward speed is expected tonight for Monday. On the forecast track, the core of the dial will mean offshore into the southwest coast of Mexico this morning here, and then pass near or over the day southern portion of the Baja Cavern Sur tonight on Monday. Maximum winds are near 135 miles by 215 kilometers an hour with higher gusts in the hours. A category 4 hurricane on the South for Simpsons hurricane wind scale. Some additional strengthening is forecast before the hurricane nears the southern portion of the Baja Cavern Sur. Hurricane force winds are extended to up to 45 miles by 75 kilometers from the center. And tropical storm force winds are uh, extend outward up to 185 miles, 295 kilometers an hour, and that's made minimum surface pressure 94 and millibars at 27.79 inches. Here, hazard effect of land wind hurricane conditions are expected in the hurricane warning area beginning by tonight and possible in the hurricane watch area late Monday. Tropical storm conditions are expected to spread to north and across Baja Cavern certain events of the hurricane conditions later today. Tropical storm conditions are possible within the tropical storm watch area by Monday night. Tropical storm conditions are likely occurring along the coast of mainland Mexico and the world in an area. Storm surge and danger storm surge is expected to produce significant coastal flooding in areas of onshore winds and that hurricane warning area near the coast. The surge will be occurring by large and destructive waves. Surf, swells, and metal will affect portions of the southwestern coast of Mexico during the next couple of days. And will begin to affect seven portions of the Baja California Peninsula and the southern Gulf of California later today. These swells are likely to be caused by flooding and surf and rip current conditions. And please consult product by air. Local National Weather Office here. And rainfall, are now expected to produce rainfall amounts of 5 to 10 inches with a total of around 15 inches in areas of mountainous terrain across the Mexican states of Baja California Sur, Klamath, Chusco, and Western Michigan. These rains are likely to result in lack of and flash floods and mudslides here. Take a look at a travel depression 16E as of 5 a.m. Eastern Time, which is 2 a.m. Pacific Time. It's 14.9. North 115.3 to the west, maps the same winds, 35 miles an hour, and movement east south is about 12 miles per hour. And on public advisory here, the pressure maintaining some strength here, and there are no close watches warnings in fact here. At 2 a.m. Pacific time, 90 UTC, the circular rock progression, 16E was located in latitude 14.9 and in the north, launch to 115.3 to the west, and the depression was moving toward the east near 12 miles by 19 kilometers an hour, and acceleration toward the east and northeast is expected on Sunday. Maximum same winds are near 35 miles by 35 kilometers out of what I request, and the pressure is forecast to dissipate by Monday morning here. Estimated minimum set to pressure is 1,007 millibars of 29.74 inches here.
And disturbance number one, a Sparta a low pressure located a couple of hundred miles south of the coast of Guatemala and southeastern Mexico is producing disorganized shards and thunderstorms. In following conditions, are expected to be conducted for the gradual development of this system during the next several days while it moves slowly toward the northwest. And formation chance of four hours, medium about 30% and formation chance of five days, high 70%. Here. And let's take a look what's going on in the Central Pacific Outlook. Nothing brewing here. So we'll take a look at our forecast discussion around the. Around the region here. High pressure over the Great Lakes builds in the New England today and Monday, bringing dry weather along with mild afternoons and chilly nights. A cold front will likely be accompanied by a period of showers late Monday night into Tuesday, mainly dry but cooler than normal weather falls next Wednesday, five Friday, as temperatures will likely moderate to near normal by next weekend. Dear. And temperatures dropped just a few degrees more early this morning. Winds will also increase beyond the cold front, creating wind chill valves in the low 40s. Making it feel more like mid to late October than September, aside from some minor tweaks. Forecast remains a track for the day. Here. And let's take a look at the weather notes. Here. Eight days until fall. The autumnal equinox will be at 10.29 p.m. on September 22nd, which is next Monday. Here. And north and west of Boston can see 66 to 69 degrees. Worcester County, 63 to 70 degrees. South Shore, 6 to 71 degrees. And Cape Town, 62 to 68 degrees. Here is temperatures around in the region will be in the 50s from up in Vermont and New Hampshire and upstate New York, 6 is much region. And a lone 70 degrees here in New York City. Here's so. 58 to 70 degrees will be predicted temperature range and high pressure will build in the region today, allowing for dry weather and temperatures in the mid to upper 60s. As a crisp night expected overnight, temperature dropping in the upper 30s and 40s and to be a frost advisory in effect for summer of Vermont and southwestern and south central portion of New Hampshire. As have outdoor plants, sensitive outdoor plants may be killed if left uncovered. Should harvest to protect tender vegetation and potter plants should be moved indoors. Here's we take a look at our seven day forecast. It goes like this, sir. For today, Saint Scott, Lanyard, 68 degrees, northward about 5 to 9 miles per hour, with gusts as high as 22 miles per hour. Tonight, most of the coast got low, 43 degrees, calm wind. Monday, Saint Scott, near 71 degrees, and a lot of variable wind. Monday night, Chester Shaw's bail up to 3 a.m., but the crisp clouds with a low, 31 degrees, and calm wind, and Chester Tobias with 30%. New Pacific amounts are less than 7 inch possible. Today, Shaw's likely mainly before 9 a.m., or as most of the coast got high near 74 degrees, and calm wind becoming west around 5 miles per hour afternoon, Chester Tobias with 6%. Tuesday night, most of the coast got low, 46 degrees. Wednesday, Seth got near 71 degrees. What's that? Most of the coast got low 47 degrees. Thursday, Seth got near 68 degrees. Friday night, Park Coast got low 46 degrees. Friday, Seth got near 66 degrees. Friday night, most of the coast got low 47 degrees. And for Saturday, most of the Seth got near 71 degrees. Peter's Water Phrase of the Day. A stellar Sunday in store. This is VJ with me. I'll be a good day with a good positive. I'll be back for the afternoon report right after. I get back in church. Have a good day. What a good positive day, dude. Here.